What's up guys, so it's been a hell of a time since I uploaded the last time. Well shit, I would realized that. Obviously I didn't die, some of you assumed, and to be real with you, I'm not really sure which were the reasons. Um, basically I got bored of TF2, I got bored of gaming, video games in general, and I've decided to go out with my friends a bit more and spend some time with them and doing other things in life. But yeah, as I already informed some of you in my Steam group, I'm hopefully finally back on track and ready to upload more content from now on. Also during this time I was thinking of uploading uh, something but I really couldn't think of anything cool, really. But yeah, most of you uh, requested me to continue doing my training series so I've decided I might as well do one and show you my training progress after a few weeks of not uploading. Alright, so I'm not even sure where did we end the last time. I recon buying a golden pan for a scorching uh, team Stubbering, Burning Patriot Peak and Phosphorus Executioner. Now there is not so much to talk about really, I've made a separate video talking about this trade so feel free to check it out later, but yeah, in the next trade I've sold my Australian knife, free key spear and procast ubersaw for a gut knife doppler, which is indeed a really lucky trade, I made like 8 or 9 keys of clear profit straight off. In the next trade I've used this gut knife doppler and some of my worthless go skins to buy an unusual high 5 town with one of the recently added effect, uh, I think it's called spectral swirl and I made literally like 100 keys clear profit straight off, but don't get too jealous yet. Uh, let me explain briefly what is about to happen. So I've decided to switch to CSGO with most of my items. Um, the reason being for that is that I was, as I already mentioned, I was getting bored of tier 2 and uh, basically I was playing tier 2 only for trading, not really enjoying the game. And also I wasn't really getting any trades, so it pretty much got into the point I was considering of cashing out and just quit writing and keep on making videos of other kind, you know. So it was either ending uh, of trading or switch to CSGO and start trading there. And luckily at the end I've decided to stay trading in CSGO however. So long story short, I've uh, quick sold most of my unusuals. For example I sold my Scorching Team Captain and my Spectre Swirl uh, Town for like uh, 8... I think, wait let me see actually... 860 key spear. Now it might actually seem like a huge discount to you at first, but honestly, I've tried to sell this stupid team captain for a little like uh, 4 to 5 months, and I also remember that one TC owner decided to ask like uh, 800 keys for it, for about a week, and he didn't even get a single offer. So at the end I think it was pretty worth it. Uh, well, kind of. Uh, in the next trade I've spent like uh, 160 keys spear to buy 6 different Cisco knives. I think I got like a few keys profit in this trade, nothing really huge. In the next trade I've sold my Huntsman Scorch Battle Scared for Shadow Diggers Night Field Tested and he also added 3 Euro in Sweets. So at the end I've made like 3 keys of clear profit, which is uh, generally a great deal. Which isn't really much, but uh, yeah, let's actually move on to spending keys for real now. So in the next trade I've spent uh, an astonishing amount of 640 keys spear to buy 13 different CSGO knives. I didn't really make much of a profit in this trade, um, basically it was a pretty fair trade, um, he didn't really profit me neither, which might seem like a huge disappointment, but uh, really, uh, most of the CSGO traders ask for TF2 overpay, even if you have TF2 keys, people will ask you to overpay in TF2 keys for their CSGO items. Ok, so in the next trade I've sold my golden frying pan for only 1069 keys peer. Then in the next trade I've spent uh, literally most of it, like I think 860 keys to buy Factory New Dragonlore, Kurenbi Tagatooth, these two other knives, A Cave, Aquamarine. Then right after I've traded my bayonet slot to field tested with some of my very small sweets for an M9 bayonet blue steel field tested, which is only like 4 keys of clear profit. Right after I've traded my bayonet forest DD pad minimum there for a gut knife Doppler, which is again very slight profit, nothing really interesting to be honest. But the in the next trade I've decided to trade my factory new Op Dragon Lore, my current target to my three other loading knives for a souvenir Op Dragon Lore. I wanted to get this thing for a really really long time and this is actually the moment I finally got my hands on it. So in total I've paid somewhere around uh, 720 keys for it. Which is not really that amazing of a deal, but I really wanted to get my hand on something like this, as I already mentioned. Now the Sovereign Dragon Lords are pretty much one of the most expensive items in this game as of right now, 
and of course depending on the float and if it's factory new, if it's battle scar and so on. Also not mentioning that there are only very few in the existence, but yeah, at end I'm pretty proud of this trade. But yeah, lastly, if any of you had any video idea, what you would like to see, what you would like to hear, uh, let me actually know in the comment section below and surely I will take a look at it and consider making a video about it. But yeah, with all this being said, I'm, I'm really disappointed in myself for not uploading so often. Um, basically I didn't find enough dedication to start uploading earlier, but yeah, I think I will try to get back on the track and finally start uploading. But yeah guys, thanks for all the support, thanks for watching, remember to join my Steam group, I will leave all the info in the video description, so feel free to click there. And yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.